Where's my kibble? Dong do 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 do. Dong do 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 do. One bright and beautiful sunny day, Byron was just about to order his favorite kibble. Hmm. Trick trick trick. What are you doing, Byron? Oh, I'm just ordering my favorite bag of kibble. Hello. Uh, did you order kibble? Oh, uh, yeah. Why? Oh, uh, I've been hired as the three delivery person, and I need to tell you, um, that um, your kibble has has been sent to your house. Ooh. All right. Bye. Bye bye. And Byron looked around, but he realized his kibble wasn't anywhere. Huh? So we decided to call three and tell her to come over. Where's my kibble? Okay, three. Do, 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 do. I'm here. Okay, free. What happened? You said my kibble was delivered, but I don't see it anywhere. What are you talking about? It's been delivered ten minutes ago, and I have a picture of it on your front porch. And when three showed the picture, it was a picture of the kibble on Byron's front porch. See? Oh, it is. Maybe, well, I better check my front porch, then. Maybe someone just stole your kibble. Someone stole my kibble! And before Three could walk out, Byron immediately suspected it was her. <gasps> it was you! I am number three. If I ate kibble, it would be three individual pieces of kibble. I do not like kibble. Oh. Dun, dun. <laughs> yeah, you're a number block. I, I get it now. Dun, dun. Ooh! Oh. Byron? Yeah? I have a problem. What is it, man, y'all? Quickly. I have a worm friend that can't talk. Oh, that's just a wire. Oh! da da. But never mind that. Byron was thinking of an investigation. He knew that three wasn't a suspect, so he had to figure out who else stole his kibble. <gasps> I think I know who stole my kibble. Who? You! Byron was suspecting everyone else with him. <laughs> and you! And especially you! You guys must have stolen my kibble! <laughs> but, but Byron was with them the whole time, which means there is no possible way that they could have stolen his kibble. Byron, we were all with you the entire time. How can we steal your kibble? Oh, yeah. We're home. Dun, dun. Ah! They didn't know what to do. Well, so I definitely know that I did not steal it, so it must have been someone else. They didn't know what to do, so they decided to set up a list of suspects. All right, let's write a list. What's a list? A list is kind of a thing you write that goes in order. Look. On a pillow, Byron drew a list. All right, these are the suspects that I think stole the kibble. Then he crossed out everyone who knew wasn't guilty. Like three, <laughs> himself, <laughs> baby monkey, <laughs> mango, Rip! and blueberry. All right, I crossed off the suspects that are definitely not guilty. Like you, 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 free, and myself. So, it all ends and pours down to these. There was eight suspects left. Well, actually, there were five. There was um, there were six. Dog dog. Okay, there are six suspects left, and they were the ones who took my kibble. Baby monkey thought that he was outrageous. Oh, you're outrageous! And he started walking out, but of course, Byron followed him. <sighs> Gonna be following Baby Boo Monkey. You wanna come? I guess. Well, since everyone's going, I don't wanna be home alone. So, strangely, they all went. Ow! Wait for us! Hey, guys! Why did you all decide to follow me? Well, because we might think that the suspects um, can, be a, can appear here. Oh, that's ridiculous. So, ow! Are you okay? Yeah, just on the head. Oh, there's a bandage. 
Can't you give... Oh, yeah, right. I haven't injured myself. Silly me. Never mind. Da da. Well, um... They started suspecting that Sophia Day were the ones who did it. Okay, bye, guys. Oh, wait. Before you go. Yeah. I've ordered some kibble at my front porch. And cool. somehow it disappeared. So you were the ones who took my kibble. Reveal the kibble. We never interested in kibble. The closest thing we have to kibble is um this colored pencil I found in um Sophie's dump truck. Dun -dun. Hey, I was saving that for later. <laughs> well, in case you didn't know, kids, a pencil is definitely not kibble. Dun -dun. Finally, you know something, right? Yeah, I've got a classification, but not buff. So yeah. Look, all we have in this truck is two costumes. We have a four costume and a five costume. Oh, costumes, not kibble. Yeah, we're we actually just finished um, reading a three million book about being three million page book about being detectives. Three hundred million pages. Only in a day. <gasps> Only in one single day. Okay, before you go. Yeah. I just need to ask a little teeny tiny question. Oh no. I don't like where this is going. How is anyone in Toy World able to read a book that long? Like you said, it's Toy World. Anything can happen to Mango. Oh. In line. And Mango. You were irritating like Why? Uh, let's just find the suspects and stop forgetting about not forgetting. Uh, stop remembering why. Ow. Dog dog. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye, bye. But Byron, so it wasn't Dave or Sophie who took the kibble. So Byron went back and crossed their names out. Sure. Now there was only four suspects left. Ow. And while everyone was walking around trying to figure out other suspects, hmm. Blueberry was literally so surprised that they couldn't figure this out. He immediately went up to them and told them that they could just ask Dave and Sophie to be um, detectives with them. How about we ask Dave and Sophie to be detectives with us? Then we can find the suspect very properly. They <gasps> thought that was a great idea. That's a great idea! But they better put it into plan quick. Sophie's about to hit the brakes. Um, hit the speed pedal. What? Oh, no. Hey, guys. Ah! What is it? Um, you can't actually leave. Da da. Oh, really? I have this <laughs> thing called a truck that goes a lot faster than you, which says I can't. Do. Well, would you like to be detectives and find the kibble with us? <sighs> what do we got to lose? Uh... Do our lives. You... This is a figure of speech, Dave. Sorry, I didn't have any sleep last night. <laughs> Losing your lives is actually bad. You could die. Da da. Really? I thought that you stay alive. Huh. Sarcasm. Losing your own life. Da da. Sarcasm. Yeah. Anyways, fine. I guess I'll help you. Yay! Woohoo! Oh yeah! Doggy dance! Break right. to the floor! Oh yeah! <laughs> Byron! And... Byron! Stop doing your victory dance! Da da! Oh yeah! Uh -huh. Everyone! Ruff, 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 ruff. <laughs> Everyone, look away! We have to change. Me first. Okay. <laughs> now me. And now there was no more David Sophie. All right, David, Sophie, we're real. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Let's do this thing. Yeah, come on, let's go. <laughs> Four, you have a female voice. Is it magic? Silly Byron. I'm Sophie. Oh, dressed in your four costume. And you're Dave, dressed in your five costume. Yes. Die, die. Oh. Up top. <laughs> Down low. <laughs> they were doing their secret costume magic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's just find the kibble. You guys go ahead and 
search. I'm gonna go to uh, Kimber Cookie's house. He always likes to um, get excited about Kimble. Uh, they decided to go with him. Then. Yeah, I will go with you. All right, everyone in the trap. Do, 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 of course, this do, time do, Byron actually do, has some room to breathe. Uh, ah! Ow! Come on, guys, let's go. Do, 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 do. So they rode the dump truck to Cream and Cookies' house. Do, 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 Wait, do, we can't come in the dump truck. Wait, oh. Why not? I'm the only one who owns this dump truck, and I let it borrow with the um with the um, recycling company. If they see this dump truck, they'll know that it's me in disguise. We also have to use voice changers. Oh, don't worry, my voice is already good. But I have one more voice changer over here. Here, try it. Yes, blah, blah. Oh, it worked. Now we can get through security. Perfect. Now we have to knock, say that we're five and four, and then we'll be good. Yes. Security. Who's speaking? It's four. And it's five. We want to go in and see Cream and Cookies. Okay. Doors opening. <laughs> yes. Okay. Have a nice day. Thank you. All right. Security dot function. Checking the building. All right. You guys hide over here. All right. Let's go. <gasps> Oh, hello, five. Hello, four. I'm just hanging out with so uh, not Sophie, uh, Snowy and Moody. Meh, meh, meh. Hello. Oh, hi. It's so great to see you guys. Yeah, it is very great to see you, too. I, I, ugh, finally, I get some air. <sighs> Phew. But they had to tell Byron to be quiet or else they would be heard. Byron, you'll be heard. Ah, oh, rude, rude. All right, let's go inside. Hello. Um, we just wanted to ask you something. Have you guys had any um kibble today? Hmm. Snowy, who actually has just been eating some um new foods, didn't have any kibble. Meh. Byron, make sure to remember that. Okay. Mooney, you. Mooney was a lizard, and he, like, liz chameleon, or lizard. Chameleon. <laughs> was a chameleon. It's a lizard. It's a lizard. And he didn't like kibble. I dislike kibble a lot. Okay, oh, well, I, I, I'll go home and cross that off, too. Well, that makes sense. Cream of Cookies, you? Cream of Cookies really wanted some kibble, but he couldn't find any. I want kibble, but I couldn't find any. Aw, I hope you find kibble soon. Yeah, I hope I do. Uh, Byron was not so sure about that one. Da da. But then Big Monkey pointed out that if he hasn't had kibble today, that means that he didn't take the kibble. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, um, we just wanted to say hi. Um, hope you guys have a good rest of your day. You too. Bye bye. Bye. Sweet. Oh my goodness, it worked. Yeah, it did. Come on, let's go. It worked. Come on, let's go. So Everyone in the car. Do, do, do. Quick. Do, do, do. Byron, you crossed them off? Yeah. All right. We have, I think, um, one more suspect left. <laughs> Megasaur was dancing once again. Ra, ra, ra. Dancing, dancing. This it's time really it was, so much fun. This time he was dancing with his wings. Da da, dancing with my wings, flying so much fun. Re 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 Oh, I still need to practice my dance. Hello. Oh, hi. Hi, me and four came. Yeah, I am four, and we would love to see you. Uh, one question, Bo. Have you had any kibble today? Oh, uh, no, I did not. 
Oh, well, you're a dinosaur slash um, dragon. Dragon. Yeah, and, and just to let you know, kids, dragons do not eat kibble. No. <laughs> dun, dun. Neither dinosaurs. <laughs> oh, well, uh, thanks for stopping. Thanks for uh, letting us stop by. You're uh, we welcome. have to go. Bye. Bye bye. Oh, my goodness. We have to go. All right. But oh. that was the last suspect. Hold on a second. There has to be more. You know what? Ooh, I know what we can do. What? What, Dave? We should ask Clara. She always knows what to do. Oh, yeah. Let's go to Clara's house. Yes, let's go. Which, actually, besides Clara not being there, was a great idea. Because little did they know, evil Karomi was actually hiding out in Clara's house. Just read. Plus, Cara, Clara is a human. There's no way she could have eaten kibble today. No. Alright, since Clara... Luckily, Byron did not write Clara on the list so that he doesn't have to do this. Of course, they didn't know that Clara wasn't there. So Dave started thinking of if they should wear their costumes or not. You know, Clara's there. She wouldn't... She wouldn't let us... She... <laughs> we, we, we shouldn't have to hide from her. Come on, let's go change back to the toilet. Okay. We're back. Oh, good. Ow. Ow. What? Dave, I think I'm starting to think that you're too heavy for the dump truck. You made us tip all over. Come on, it's okay. Let's go. Clara. Right. <laughs> to Byron, it was never okay. Clara has these bat wings. Ooh, bat wings. Ooh, look, I have bats. Ooh. Wait a minute, why are they actually flapping? Oh, I forgot to mention, if you wear these wings, you'll start flying up with whatever's beneath you. Unless it's the ground. Whoa, the ground. Come on, let's just go inside to Clara's house. Oh, phew. Hey, Clara. Evil Karomi? Oh. Hi guys. Uh, what are you doing here? I thought Clara was supposed to be here. Oh yeah, uh, she told me to water her plants. Clara doesn't have any plants. Dod dod. Uh, gotta go. That was weird. <laughs> dod dod. The rest of Clara's house was empty, and they never had a clue. Dod dod. Uh, we gotta think of something. We're the smartest people around. Dear. Sophie was right. They had better come up with something. They're the smartest team of animals on Toy World. Well, them and, and Baby Boo Monkey too. <laughs> they started thinking, and Baby Monkey came up with a great idea. Hmm. They should go see Scout. I know. What about we go to Scout's house? Scout loves kibble. Maybe he stole it. Oh, right. Let's go. Do -do 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 -do. Good thinking, Baby Monkey. <laughs> Dave, if you can please just let a dog get at least 0.1% of oxygen right now, that would be nice. I can't even breathe. We're almost there. Calm down. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean we're almost there? I can hardly breathe anymore. Dun, dun. All right. Ah, finally, I get some oxygen. Ugh. Everyone, come on. This is an invisible elevator. Invisible elevator to the Whoa! Okay, we're here. Scout. He's asleep. Scout was taking a nice little nap on his blanket. But then he woke up to an alarm. Dear! Oh my goodness! That alarm is so loud! Da, da, da. But it was actually his alarm. Oh, it's mine. Da da da! <laughs> At first they thought they couldn't be Scout because um hmm. he had just woken up. It can't be Scout! He just woke it up! But then It can't be who? Sorry? Scout. No, a Scout's talking. Oh. It can't be who? Well, nothing. You. Nothing, come on guys, let's go. But 
right in the glimpse of Byron's eye when he was leaving, he saw a tiny bit of dog kibble around his mouth. Wait! Guys, come back! What are you talking about? We already know that he couldn't have stolen the kibble. We'll just keep searching. No, he did. He stole the kibble. I saw him eat a little demon demon nudge of kibble. That was the exact same bag of kibble I ordered. Really? Hold on, man. Um, Scout, would you mind if we investigated your pantry? Of course. Ow! Dun, dun. Oh! But, um, right as they went in to investigate the pantry, he remembered that he accidentally left the dog kibble there. So he, so while everyone else was in the pantry, before they could go there, uh, he called uh, Evil Kuromi. Do, do, do. Evil Kuromi! Evil Kuromi speaking, what do you need? They're going in the pantry! Oh, uh, no, this can't be good. Uh, don't worry, I got him. Scout was actually friends with Evil Karobi, but he, he's still friends with Violet, but still Evil Karobi. Hey guys, can you come out for a second? Uh, I, I need you something. Oh, sure, what you need? Um, can you just help me, um, get, um, a toy out of a tree? Oh, uh, sure, it doesn't seem like it would require that much work. Yeah, let's go. Toys could get stuck in trees, but they didn't know it was a fake favor. Do, 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 blow, do, do, do. Uh, I need a quick toy. Oh, this one. <laughs> it got stuck right there. Oh, don't worry. Oh, it fell out. Oh, phew, I thought it was going to be stuck forever. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Evil Kurobi would have usually asked if they wanted to fly back, but she was buying Scout some time. So she picked it up and slowly, without them knowing that she could fly, flew away. What was that? Oh. It was probably just the wind. Yeah, probably just the windy day. <laughs> What's wind? Da da. Scout, move, the, move it out of your pantry. I got it. But right as he was hiding it, they came back! Alright, we're here! Oh my goodness! Scouts! Dun, dun. They, uh, they saw him with the dog kibble in his hands! It was the exact dog picture and the exact pink bag that I ordered! Yeah! Scout, um, said, Scout defied him and said that it wasn't true. But Byron, being smart for once, saved the picture at three showed him and showed it to Scout. <laughs> and Scout realized that he had been caught red-handed. Dar dar. Oh uh, no. Or in this case, pink bags. Get it? Or red pod. <laughs> dar dar. <laughs> well, then I guess you're the suspect, Scout. You have stolen my kibble. How dare you steal my kibble? I was so hungry. Sorry, but I was so hungry too. Well, then why didn't you order a bag of kibble for yourself instead of stealing my order? Because I didn't know that was your order. I thought that was Evil Karomi's order. Wait a minute. Evil Karomi's order? Yeah. Run. Oh, no. We need to go visit Evil, Evil Karomi. Who wants to come? Everyone except Sophie and Byron went. Because they were talking to Scout. I'm telling you. Dog wisdom will, ah! will not face an Evil Karomi. I'm only here so you can be safe. I'm going to go with them. Dog. Hold on a second. <laughs> Evil Karomi! Die, die. Uh, yes? You were working with scouts all along! <laughs> what are you talking about? But evil Karomi was sweating. You're sweating. You are lying. You literally... Okay. Pause the video for a second. Viewers, do not trust Evil Karomi. <laughs> she was helping Scout on a stealing journey. 
you should one never steal because you will go to jail. Which we are about to put evil Kurobi in jail. Step <laughs> away. That's Jesus's one of the yes. ten sins, like yes. five sins. I was gonna say two. That's one of the sins, and three. Why would you want to steal in the first place? Just buy your own. If you don't have enough money, you could ask your family member if they could buy you some kibble. Instead of going up to someone's front porch and be like, ooh, kibble, let us steal it. <laughs> Stealing is not okay. <laughs> we will zoom the video once I get back to the area. So, uh, exactly, you stole. <laughs> uh, that Wait a minute. She could fly this whole time. Dun -dun. Oh my goodness. She only made us go get her toy that was stuck in the tree. So we she could buy she <laughs> that she could buy time for scouts. <laughs> okay. This looked stupid today because if she could fly, then why shouldn't she fly to get her toy down? Instead of asking for help. Dot dot guard. Plus, the help was worthless. The toy fell down, so they helped for nothing. Rug rug guard. Exactly. Come on. They came back and they saw Byron yelling at scouts. <laughs> and you should better understand your circumstances at being a puppy that towards your dog life. You are starting Byron, to work. Byron, Byron. <laughs> what? Could, could you please stop hollering for a second? <laughs> Um, uh, I don't know. Da da da. We just found out that evil Karobi has been working with scouts all along. Wait a minute. I know it! Evil Karobi was working with scouts! Scout! How dare you are working with evil Karobi! Evil Karobi! Ah, uh, yeah. No. You have been working with scouts this entire time. I am not going to be lying to you. But dog wisdom will not trust evils. Do you understand? Uh, he's a tiny little dog. Ah, I may be tiny, but I have. Strong dog wisdom that is very big and can expand for a million dog miles in my brain. <laughs> so, count if, to 100. 1, 2, 3, uh, 87, uh, 95, 67. Um, wait, what comes next? See, you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. One minute later, 98, 99, 100. You don't go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 87. Uh, 60, 67, what comes next again? No! You dog wisdom is stupid, you are stupid, and I doubt that you could ever hurt me. It is never acceptable to call anyone stupid. Number one, section five of my dog wisdom booklet says that you should never call anyone stupid under the circumstances of... But before Byron could say the last word, Karomi shut down the doors. <laughs> I can carry you. Ow! Whatever! I can still learn to float by Sophie's technique. Here, this is how you do it. Don't you mean Dave's technique? Dave's, yeah. Ow! Ow! Here, let me help you. <laughs> you should not control dogs like that. That is illegal. And while Kuromi was just drinking her coffee without a care in the world, Byron pounced on her. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to pay for this young lad. You either stop working with Scout, or your evilness can make you have no friends forever! I don't need friends if I have myself and torturing you! Ah! Ow! Ouch! Ow! Okay! That's enough! You've, excuse me, you've had your fun! 
If I would realize there was no use. <sighs> this is useless. And Goodbye. And he went back. Do, 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 do. It was unbelievable. Right. He was talking about the fight. Evil Karami was working with Scout all along. Wait. And I told her all the unnecessary Wait. dog fakes. There was a fight? Yes. And he talked about how he was floating. I was floating to prove that I'm smarter but evil Karomi said, can you count to 100? I counted to 100, but I tried and tried and I couldn't get it. Hold on, Sian. What is that? Did you float or did she pick you up with her uh, magic? Uh, okay, I failed on floating. But she uh, picked me up with her floating skills. Uh, what? Dave was a very aggressive crocodile. Da, da, da. And was a very shim friend. Yeah. What did you just do? Uh, look over there. Da, da. My wand. It's not working. That's because evil Karobi went in the water and now she was stranded on an island. The only way that this can work is if I go back to the evil crystal tower. But that's ten miles away! <laughs> well, why don't you just fly ten miles? When I get in the water, I can't fly anymore. My powers lose, and my horns, instead of um, being a fearful um, threat, are now looking like a headband. Oh. Uh, get some water. Uh, your, uh, your face is covered in water. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. So, I guess the moral of the story is <gasps> never, ever Jeez. trust evilness and never steal without permission from the respectful owner of copyright status. Exactly. <laughs> Byron was hollering and shouting a lie in this video. So I think we better end it before Byron says something else putrid. And just to let you know, dog wisdom is my hat is blurry on the rules. And really, it's really, really bad to see that 